Hey. 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 What night is it? It's the moon night. So, tonight we're watching a movie. And we were watching a movie that we've had for a while too. Um, I think we bought this the same. I bought this the same day. We got Attack of the Octopus People, Killer Clowns, and uh, Wars of Spider Island. These were like some of the first movies we first reviewed. Yes. And now we're finally watching Pet Cemetery. Oh yeah. Yeah. They just name drop that movie. The very first Stephen King movie I've ever watched. Stephen King movie I've never watched. This is the last Stephen King movie he's watched. Well, not technically yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. I haven't watched it yet. But I guess if we're speaking in the context of the video being posted, then yes, it technically would until I watch another Stephen King movie, in which case it wouldn't be. It just depends on the context of time that's being watched. But then that's a whole other theoretical, a whole other thing that we could get on about another time. But we can guarantee it's not the last Stephen King movie. Because you guys might see, we're basically getting it tickets for free. Yup. But thank you, Best Buy. Yup. Yup. Set my fingers because. Fuck. You're literally knocking it out of focus when you do that? No, you can't because I have a manual focus. Snapping my fingers is something I recently found that I can do. I'm making Not much on this end, though. Let's watch a movie. Yes! So, this is arguably the newest Blu-ray we got. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's got a new feature. Look at this! So many languages! So should we watch Pet Cemetery in Japanese? I think it's our only this choice. Is subtitles? Uh, I think this is, like, the actual language. This is probably remastered in 4K, too. Because Blu-ray can master- it can be in 4K. Is this Dutch? It's like Netherlands. Netherlands. And that's Dutch. No, Dutch, Dutch is right Dutch there. Is there. Dutch. That's probably like a uh, a dialect. Ned Netherlandia. Yeah, that could probably be like a Dutch dialect. I mean, I know someone from the Netherlands. I could ask him. About yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Call him up right now. <laughs> oh, <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We just thought this was cool. You think we ask Jarl? We could. He he'd think... be awake. I know. Okay. I'm gonna see what he says. Um. So what would Deutschland be? I don't see any German here. Maybe that would be it. Let's see, it's calling him? Calling him. This is a historical thing. Since he's able to see the video before he answers the call, he might be at work. Oh, that's true. His boss knows us. Yeah, really? Yes. Wow. Should I let it go? Uh, yeah. Oh, you can't talk right now. Dang it, he's gonna call me whenever I'm like dead ass asleep. Be like, <laughs> be yo, like, what's up? I'll, have to talk. I'll, I'll probably end up talking to him. <laughs> if he calls us in the middle of the video, we'll we'll get this on on video. But yeah. Oh, in case you didn't know this, he's been in my videos before. Jarl's a good friend of ours. He's from Germany. He was a toast. He was toaster in my live streams of. Uh, H1Z1 and American Army Proving Grounds. So yeah. Weird, cause he's German. Yeah, he really loved that game though. He did. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, we'll get back to you soon. So we just finished watching the movie Pet Cemetery and uh, Drake. What do you think? Um, a lot better than I was anticipating. I have to agree on that. I've seen this, but uh, every with the last few movies that we've watched. Uh, I've definitely enjoyed them more than the last time I've watched them. Yeah, um, definitely some things I liked about it. Um, it was definitely paced really well. Um, they they really cut the BS and automatically went straight into what this was about. Um, all the characters didn't really seem like there was anyone that got on your nerves or anything, and that is a huge plus. The fact that there's like Obviously, there's characters that you don't care for, or maybe you're not supposed to like them on purpose or anything like that, but overall, they were all, like, 
you know, you didn't see him on screen. You're like, ah, oh, geez, why this guy? You yeah. Know, you don't. You didn't have any of that on this. Um, I guess honestly, honestly, if I was gonna do, this, if I was gonna say that about anyone, I'd say that about the main character. And it's not necessarily because of who he is, but it's just because of the decisions he was making. Yeah. Completely stupid. Yeah. But I guess but, in yeah. other situations, it's more. He was doing it because he's going insane for grief. He was grieving a lot and kind of made him go insane. So I guess, in a way, it makes sense. Yeah, out of all the movies that we watch, I think we both kind of agreed that out of everything we've watched, this guy going insane makes the most amount of sense. And it kind of goes with his decision making. Yeah. Like, it's not like he's just some normal person in a, you know, in a, in a film, you know, in like a in like a horror movie scenario like there's an actual reason why the decisions he is making don't make sense yeah but love Judd yeah Judd is definitely the best part of this movie uh rest in peace Judd so I'm gonna go through a brief little rundown of what happens in the movie so movie starts off with the Creed family moving into a new house in Maine where the road is busy with trucks. How many trucks? There's a lot of trucks. A lot of trucks. But you can vouch that those kind of roads are like that. Yeah. Personally, yes, yes. Um, and after they move there, they meet their neighbor Judd. He brings them down to the pet cemetery. And then after that, they just kind of talk for a little bit, I guess. And then it, and then it's November. And, like close after that and uh, the family's leaving like the mom uh, the daughter and Gage all go to Chicago for Thanksgiving I'm assuming yeah and uh, church dies and they go bury church in the ancient burial ground past the pet cemetery and then they come back church is alive and stuff and then they, the lady, the caretaker lady, hangs herself. No, that didn't make any sense. I didn't understand that whole situation. Yeah. But. That didn't really make much sense. It's just for the Stephen King cameo. It was worth it. Yeah. Um, and then after that, you know, they're having a good old grand time playing with a kite. And Gage goes and runs out onto the street, gets hit by a truck. Those trucks that we were talking about earlier, sad part of the movie. I don't know if it was sad, really, but um, after that, uh, everyone's grief. Yeah, they're all grieving. Uh, there's a big fight at the funeral. Then it goes to, like, around Christmas, and the mom and the daughter go back to Chicago for Christmas and are were left there with... I don't know, what was the guy's name? The... Doctor dude? Yeah, we just call him Doc. Yeah, we just call him Doc. that one guy I kept on calling him. Yeah, we'll just call him that, because that... Pascal. Pa Pascal? Pascal. Pascal, that's Yeah, right. we kind of uh, overshadowed him, but he's he's probably the best part of the movie. Pascal was really cool. He was my second favorite character. I liked how, um, initially when you see him, he's perceived as, like, the way he looks and the way he kind of perceives himself he's he looks like a villain that very villain it's almost like he'd be like the, like almost like the devil and like, you know incarnate you know the guy who's pulling all the strings and but in all reality he's like the really freaked up guardian angel he doesn't well, look like it but he acts like it when you say pulling all the strings i mean he technically is but he's pulling him in the right way yeah he's trying to yeah he's trying to and so uh we go to that, and then the doctor digs up Gage from the actual cemetery and goes and puts him in the ancient burial ground. And then Gage goes on a killing spree, killing our boy Judd. Man. In the most gruesome way. Dude, I never thought of it, but he... he, he, he Achilles. He Ooh. stabbed him right in the Achilles. And that just... And it... Oh my god. Just, gosh. oof. It's, it's, it's like seeing a paper cut. Yeah, it's, like it's, a paper it's one of the rare occasions from modern I and mean, from horror that I can't actually like look. Yeah, it's not like it's because it's like so gruesome or anything. It's just like it just it just 
kids too. Man. Like you know, men know how if men men know how it feels whenever they see someone get kicked. Oh, I guarantee you, women have some kind of yeah. form of it as but, well. Probably but, watching some girl get birth, birth they yeah. feel the same way. <laughs> yeah, but he kills kills our boy Judd. That made me sad. And then he kills the mom, and then and he, he wasn't so sad about. Yeah, and he kills the dad. Well, no, then uh, the the he, next day, the dad. Starts just just uh, needling everyone. He needles church. He needles the kid. By that I mean he puts him to sleep or kills yeah. him or something something like that. Burns the house down. And apparently didn't learn his lesson because then he buried the mom in the pet cemetery as Pacquiao was warning him not to freaking do it. <laughs> Pacquiao. What was his name? Pasla something. Pascal. 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 The other name's probably some MMA guy. Um, and then. Wife comes back, gives him a hug, and then stabs him, which is probably the best for the daughter who's the last one alive. Yeah. Who clearly has the shining in this movie. Yeah. And we thought it would be really cool if in the new Doctor Sleep movie if Danny was married to the daughter. Or even had some kind of connection. Yeah. Some kind of connection with the Yeah. Because he meets up with a with a girl who has the shining. Oh really? Yeah. Um So this is definitely a sleeper movie. And I really enjoyed it this time. Now the real question is, are you are you excited to ever watch the remake? I don't know. Some say it's better than this movie. Some say it's about the same. I don't know. I feel like... Hmm, that would be really hard. Yeah. It would be a really hard decision. So, on a scale of... One to ten kings of horror. How would you rate this? I will give this eight out of ten kings of horror. I was gonna give it the same exact score. Eight out of ten kings of horror. And yeah, nineteen eighty nine, Pet Cemetery. Go check it out if you haven't. This has been I'm Drake. This has been Dren Movie Reviews. Signing off.